What's up, Endless Investments? We're coming back to you again with some more mail. We're going to go ahead and crack into this and see what we got. Let's start over here. I think we got something from MVP Sports over here. It just, uh, MVP Sports is actually just a pretty good way for you to get close to distributor prices. Uh, they've definitely got the best prices, hands down. And uh, they are membership based, well, not really like membership based, but they are um, like uh, invite only. So you've got to get. Uh, here we go. All right. Got some new product. Got a draft and a set box of the uh, new Innistrad set. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, MVP Sports, uh, hit them up, find something of theirs. If you buy something on like their Google page or something, you will get an email with an invite code. Uh, or you can just email them like I did. Uh, hit them up, tell them you, you need a membership, you tried to buy something, yada, 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 and they didn't send it. And then they will usually hook you up. All right, guys. Let's Crack this one open. We'll see what we get. See how we're expanding in. Oh, all right. I think this one's straight from the source. Awesome. Look at that. Metazoo release event deck box. Great. Great looking stuff. All right. I think that means what we got in here is a spell book. That's right. Pretty good. Wow, that one's a lot smaller than the other one, isn't it? Might be the same size. <coughs> Can't tell off the block. All right, a few more things we got open. We'll keep, try to keep this one kind of short. Looks like we're getting into some sealed product, and obviously, when you're buying sealed stuff and you're holding it for the long term, again, like Rudy always says, you are, we as the uh, long-term collectors are selling selling a gambler's premium. So that's you got to keep in mind when you're investing with this stuff. So basically, roughly, to find the market price of something that you're selling like this, it's going to be like the highest value thing in the set versus the lowest value thing in a set. Average them together-ish, and uh, sometimes that's how you can find your prices. All right, I think I know what this is. Let's just double check and make sure. Shop from a new uh, a new store. Never really done it. Uh, it's a big three deals, and they came through pretty clutch on this uh, legendary duelist synchro storm box. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't like the UDF stuff because they kind of just either die or pop after you get done. But we got a little bit of collection of a uh, UVL. Let's see if we can get into some singles. Let's see what we got here. stuff right here. We'll see what we got. If I had to guess, it would be the zoo. It is. Alright. Now, one thing I did want to do, I saw the, uh, alright, yeah, I saw some of these cards that, like, uh, let's see, is this one, yeah, like, like this card right here is actually perfect. So, this card right here, this card index, right, most people don't understand that this is a tutor. Like this is a tutor for uh, for Metazoo. It's a one drop. Uh, search your spell book for a BC page, reveal it, and place it into your chapter. Shuffle your spell book. I, like, am I going crazy? Like that's a tutor. Like th that's going to be a slept on card. Anyway, just a little uh, rant right there. Then we went and <sighs> these. I think it's pretty cool what they're doing with the non-hollow rare at the end of the packs, which is uh, you can get a lot of the unlucky 13 from the back of the pack, you know, from that non-rare slot, which is uh, pretty crazy. I, I don't know what that's going to do to like the value of them because they didn't have anything like that in the uh, in Cryptid Nation, the first one, the first edition, the true OG. They did not have anything like that, so. I don't know what that'll do. I know what it'll do for playability, but I don't know what it'll do long term. So 
We'll see what that does. Got some Hell's Gate, some Prison Beam, some Boil Overs. And I mean, again, if you can get these things for like, like less than 25 cents a pop, like why would you not? So that's what we're doing. Yeah, I know they're common, but I think there's a few things that are slept on that, that series. All right, we get a Ripper. Let's keep pumping them out. All right, we're already coming up on a little over five minutes, so I'll try to get this done. This looks like our Endered Cold. Alright, I don't know if this is the full or the reverse. This is the reverse Endred. Very cool. I like the way that he can summon up the Mothman. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's keep moving. Keep it moving. Bad boy out, all right. Got some Kickstarter cards, all right. I always like just to get a few Kickstarter singles. I don't really care what people say about them or anything. And they don't have to be hollow or any of that stuff. I just think that they're cool. All right, just picked up a couple of them. Very cool, very cool. All right, let's keep it moving. Alright, this was a uh, this was an interesting one. Uh he's reverse hollow uh, lizard man. <laughs> like a dollar a piece, man. Uh, so I couldn't really help myself. I picked up quite a few of them. I think we got four. Yeah, there's looks like there's two in each one of those. Easy pickup. Anything from Cryptid Nation at this point, if you can get it hollow for under five, I'd say buy. Um, there's just there's some interesting floor prices that are starting to form, uh, and they'll start to form in Nightfall too, and then we can make some move to ba moves based on the floors that we start to see. Oh man! All right, perfect. We got another Chaos Crystal. Phoenix Rain. I do have a full hollow Chaos Crystal coming. I'm looking forward to that one. That's going to be a cool pull. Let's see what we got our Chaos Crystal for. Y'all might hate me for this one. Look at that. That's what it's like to be early. Chaos Crystal. 25 bucks. I'm telling you guys, stick with Endless Investments and we'll find some stuff for you guys to get into. We'll make a few calls. I mean, we made our moves right before Rudy and Mike had a second set of videos come out where they really got into it. Some people were able to pick up that the that crystal was just slept on. People didn't realize that that was, uh, that was something to be uh, looking for. But it is, i.e., the Black Lotus. So I think it'll be pretty cool. Got the black hole shard. You guys know how I feel about the uh, about the uh, mana generating cards in Cryptid Nation. You can get them for under ten bucks. Pick them up. Pick them up. All right. Last last thing we got for the day. So, easy peasy collectors. That's a pretty cool little card. These open. We'll keep this one right under 10 minutes for y'all. All right. Yes, I am going to go ahead and I know it's there's a premium on it. I know, I know, I know. But the uh, stalactites, stalactites. I don't. I, I murdered that. Good lord. Yes, yeah, stalactites. Golly. We went ahead and got some of the uh, the unlucky 13 going. I just like getting that kind of stuff, man. I, I know there's, like I said, I know there's a premium. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Full hollow injured cold. That's that's what we're talking about. That is a good one. Uh, we did pay a premium on those, so I knew we were gonna take a little hit on those, but you know, sometimes.
sometimes I just want to get in the game. But that is all, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I'll hit you up with the next one. That's Endless Investments, and we'll see you next time. Peace.